Hi everyone, Emma here. Take a look at what I made. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these earrings. Um, we're going to do silver this time. So let's take a look. These were made with the um, BB Craft crystals that I got. And let's just get in a little closer. So you're using three millimeter uh, round drucks and then 11 O seed beads and then a um, wire guardian and an ear hook. So that's what you need for this. And this is what it looks like on the back. And you're going to need some scissors, some uh, beading thread or line. This is the one I'm using for this. We'll see if this works. I did these ones, I think, with the green color that might have been slightly thicker. You're going to need, I'm using a size 12 needle. I don't think you need a size 12 needle. Like there's nothing in here that's that small. So um, you could probably get away with a size 10 if you feel more comfortable with a 10. And uh, of course your crystal, these are 18 by 13 size. And that's what it looks like on the back. So there you go. And I'm color coordinating everything. Um, when it comes to the seed beads along with the three millimeter drucks and you can use anything that's three millimeters so you can use a three millimeter fire polished you can use a pearl um, you could probably use um, i would guess maybe a size six uh, six o seed bead as your element around or a three millimeter um, Bicone. So, you know, use whatever you have. And then here's the red one. This one's probably my favorite. And so this one's slightly different than what I'm going to show you right now. I simplified it. Um, yeah, so that's what they look like from the side. This one is a little more pointed. So I think I'll try and come up with the design for this one. Initially, that was the design I was working off of, but um, it wasn't working for me. So I will definitely, I think it's just a matter of where you pull this piece here to make it a little bit of a triangle. In here, it's more of a swag. So, but that's, you know, fine tuning. And then we did this one that is peach and it is lovely. This one I tried to cover the whole back. You know, seeing that it's an earring, you might have the back exposed if you have short hair. But um, I need to work on that. I'd like it to look like a more like a flower design. So, okay. And you're going to need an ear wire for this, your crystal. So let's go ahead and get started. See how quickly we can get this done. This should only take about a half an hour. Now I've pulled out a full um, wingspan of thread and you know what? You don't need that at all. But every time I shorten it, I end up with struggling to get it finished. So I would definitely recommend do the full wingspan, fold over your thread considerably so that uh, you know you get it out of the way and let's get started you're going to need eight of these three millimeters to start with two four six seven eight and then for the um the attachment you're going to need three here so I'm just going to put those next to the ear wire so we know and I will enlarge this so you can see as well. So we're going to put that aside for now. We, we're going to do the front and then we'll, when we start to pull it tight, we'll uh, bring it in. So these are 11 of silver. I was trying to get the same silver to match, but uh, I couldn't, but I figured this is a demonstration <laughs> so we can we can cheat and have different colors. 
So you're going to start out, this is right angle weave at the beginning. So if you see, there's your right angle weave. And let me enlarge this. Like that. So your right angle weave right here with your three millimeter. So we're going to create this piece here right now by just doing them. So we're going to start with a right angle weave. You can use a bead stopper, but I they annoy me. I find they get in the way of what I'm doing, so I tend to um, not use them as much. So, but you can use them definitely. They're I mean, I used to use them all the time. So, I'm leaving a bit of thread at the end um, to weave in after. So, you're going to go through all four of these 11 O's a second time from the bottom to create a circle to give us that right angle weave that we want. And get the thread out of the way. Okay. And to get that to go into a circle, you're going to go through the first one. And that will pull it around for you. There. So in case you're wondering where I've been, it was a busy week. I Last Friday I had um, my MRI and it was in a different town. So it was about a, a three hour drive both ways and it was during a snowstorm so that was not fun so now you have your right your first right angle weave so now we're going to take a three millimeter truck and four 11 o's like that and bring them all to the bottom and then yesterday i had my mammogram for my follow-up after the radiation therapy so it was kind of a big deal and it was super painful as you can imagine because I had surgery plus the the radiation okay so now we're going to go through the first 11 0 we're going to create another right angle weave like that so hang on to that and pull it through See, I think that's hooked here. Oh, it hooked on the um, the thread, the tail. Let's get that out of there. I thought I had a hold of it, but And I don't usually put that much of a tail, but I found, again, when I went to weave it in, I didn't have enough. So now, you can see how the thread is exposed a bit. You want your... Let me show you here. You want your um, right angle weave right up against that bead. So you can take your nail and push it in place. like that there or you can just wait till you get your next unit on and use that to push it down so now we we're going to continue doing a three millimeter and four 11 o's till we take care of all of these let me get the count okay so you have eight rounds we're going to do i double check that because you don't want to make a mistake it'll throw everything off and who knows, she might not even notice it. Why is this one bigger? Okay. This, um, this thread's really flippy floppy. Okay. There we go. So go up through the next 11 -0. So I'm feeling pretty good, but I'm, uh, I'm surprised that those kind of things are taken up 
my time. And I'm still pretty exhausted from my back problem between the medication they gave me and uh, just the pain associated with the back. So I should get my results from the MRI in a couple of days. So now go back to your first 11 -0. Let's see if we can do this more efficiently here. And just push that down and then pull to get your right angle weave in place. So grab the next one, three millimeter and four 11 O's. Like that. And bring it down. Hang on to it. Go through the first 11 O. And I'm still waiting for surgery to have a pelvic repair and hysterectomy. And in two weeks, my wife's having a procedure done on her toe for, um, I don't know, what do they call it? hangnail but oh no ingrown toenail so it's pretty severe and she's had issues with it for decades so there's a doctor that has a new procedure that takes care of it once and for all but the recovery is pretty in depth i was thinking you know once i get her set up and sitting on the couch and get her a tea and this and that. I'll have lots of time to do beading in my office. So I was hoping I'll get lots of videos, but I'm starting to have a feeling that that's not going to be the case. So I'll just keep going like this till you have them all in. And look at that. So don't worry if it flips over like this, once we get started, it will all be in the correct position. So pick up a three millimeter and then four 11 O's. This is actually really super easy design to do. It just took me a bit, like I've been working on these for a couple of days. Um, I made one initially and did a really nice job. And then somebody mentioned they wanted to see that one. So I went back and I thought, well, let me do another couple of them so that I know I got the right design. And do you think I could get the right design? Here's my scribbly notes. This is terrible. Like hieroglyphics. Okay, so this is the last one. And on the last one, you don't need to put a right angle weave because we started with a right angle weave. So just remember that part. It's very important. So I'm just going to put these guys. I'll just show you. That's what we have. So we have a three millimeter on that side and a right angle weave on this side. So we are going to take and thread and go through everything again and then go past well on this side go past a few and then we'll add the rest so let's just get in here you can do it like this do it all the way through or do it in stages yeah I think I'm going to do it in stages this one there there it pulls it into the circle like that and this one actually with these darker drunk beads looks kind of neat it looks kind of antique -y, like an antique silver so, let's just 
go through the rest of these. Coming out of this drug, we're going to go through the 11 the drug, and I'm going to go past the start point, and then you're going to make sure you come out of an 11 like this. It's weird, these almost look like they're tarnished, because look at this one's fine. Anyway. Okay, so now you're coming out of this 11-0 here. We're going to go up through this one and up through that one. You can do them both at the same time. Like that. And just make sure they're positioned nicely. Okay, I'm just going to check. Okay, so this is at the bottom. We get that thread, tail thread out of the way. Okay, so now we are going to add five 11 O's in between each of these peak beads. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Go through the next one here and don't pull it tight just bring it through like that and go all the way around three four five like that and go through the next one just like that one two three four five like that coming out of this one here we're going to go into this one like that one two three four five go through here one Two, three, four, five. I um just a little announcement. I'm getting ready to do a giveaway, and the giveaway is beads that um, Kath from England sent us, and uh, I'm about two weeks away, according to the delivery update from uh, AliExpress. So that one is going to be some pretty amazing stuff it's all the the really nice cubic zirconia um class fancy class and stuff like that so yeah i haven't quite decided yet how we're going to do it if we're going to do multiples i think that's probably the best way to do it. it's kind of fun to know that at least, you know, if your name doesn't get picked first, you could get a second and third chance. I usually do three at a time. So it's, um, the shipping has gotten more expensive here in Canada too, though. So if you see me doing one giveaway, that's why. But for, this was a celebration of the 10K. So that's why. So this is the last one. So sometimes it's hard to see where you're at. So just take a look and there's your four. So you're going to go through this, but you're also going to go all the way to the second to last bead there. I have to check that. <laughs> I said it, but I'm like, Ooh, let me double check which one I just finished. So, I think it's the next one. Yeah, it is. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking 
these three and we're going to go through these three and add a single bead but we're going to do that all the way around so for this first one because you're, you're starting out where you're adding the beads so this one you just got to remember you're going to go through right up until the last one here show you that again so that it's makes sense okay so there's there's the three beads we're going through so you're gonna have a bead on each side of that so now pick up one 11 0 you're gonna there's the right angle weave so we're not gonna go through that one we're gonna skip the next one and then we're going to go through three like that and you can leave this one loose too when we get to the end we'll pull it tight just make sure that's out of the way okay so you have one left that we had added before there's the right angle weave we're going to skip this one here go through the next three so pick up one, skip the next one, and go through three. Pick up an 11 0. We're skipping this one. We're skipping, I guess you could say skip three pass through three that might make it easier so there's one two three and then go through the next three with your one on there like that i think i'm going to enlarge this i don't know it kind of looks small to see so pick up one eleven oh we're going to go one two three skip and then go through the next three it might help if you just used your fingernail to there we go the middle three so you can see i'm pulling it and it's starting to round you don't have to do that but okay pick up one skip three one two three and go through three like that okay pick up one Skip three, one, two, three, and then go through the next three. Done. Pick up one. Skip three, one, two, three, and then go through the next three. That. pick up one skip three one two three and then go through the next three okay now we're getting back to the beginning so now you can pull it and you can see how it's coming around my finger so let's actually put our crystal in there now um, let's bring this tail to the front so go through get rid of this there that tail let's pull that so you can position your 
bezel where you want your crystal to sit and because it's a oval shape you know however you want to make it you could make earrings this way but I like them the long way so what I'm doing is I'm gonna if, if you look at the the middle flat piece there's like a little edge here so I want to line up the drucks on either side of that little ledge there but it's it's up to you and the other thing is you can do this later once it's on and tight you can actually kind of roll it and move it around so so this is let me show you see the two beads here I want it to sit this way in there so let's slide that in there and you can put your finger on there and pull this it's not going to quite do the whole thing yet because we're going to put another layer but what we want to do is get this in place and we're going to go through everything one more time to tighten it and then we're going to add some more beads so that's what i was saying you, it depends when you want to add your um, position your crystal because this is going to move around so let's so you see when I pulled it it kind of folded over let me see if I can get the other okay so now just go through everything so go through the one you added and the three that you passed through initially that the one you added And the three that we pass through like that. Okay, just gonna turn this. It's still very loose. Okay, go through the, the single one and then the three like that. Did I skip one? Yeah, let me get through these first okay go through the single and the next three the single the next three and you can go through more than that at once if you can manage it but just know which ones you're going through So now we're coming around to where we started. So you're going to go through just like the last three and then the one. And then we're going to start to add some more. We're going to put our crystal back in. Because once we add those others, it should lock it in. And just kind of wiggle it where you need it. Okay. There. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through these three just to pull them up a bit on the crystal. And then we'll start adding. So you can see now it's in there. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, you can't even tell the the big the three millimeters are fine. Perfecto. Okay. Let's go through the single one here. And then we're gonna add three eleven O's and that will tighten it up. Three eleven O's. We're coming out of that single one here. I don't know if you can see that right there. And you're going to skip all these three and you're going to go through the next single one that we added. Like that. That. 
and just hang it onto your um, bezel. Potentially the bezel could come out again. Pick up three. So we're coming out of this single bead that we had added initially. I know it's hard to see, I apologize. Let me see, if you take a look, here's your right angle weave, the first right angle weave. Then there's the two side beads, so it's pulled it together, and there's your single bead. If it's hard to tell, just take a look at the three beads that are above this opening, and then you'll see it better. So skip those and go through the single like that. There. Pick up one. Coming out of this single bead here, we're going to skip the next three and go through the next single like that. Oh, we needed three in here. Sorry about that. One, two, and we already have one on there. So go through this single. And you can really start to cinch it up. Keep that guy out of the way. Okay, pick up three 11 O's. We're coming out of this single. We want to go into this single. We're going to, wow, I can't believe how much my hands are shaking. These three we're going to skip. So let's go through like this. Let me see if I can turn this here. Go through the single one. Well, I'm surprised. I... Let's try it on an angle. There we go. Maybe I had too much coffee this morning. <laughs> Don't say that in front of my wife. <laughs> it's like she drinks tea all day and it, she <laughs> rags on me for drinking three cups in, of coffee in the morning. I used to drink coffee all day long. So we need three 11 O's. That. Okay, we're going to skip the next three, go through the next single one here. Like that. I love this open. It kind of gives you a hint. And because the crystal is different colors, it feels like it's like nice and blue here and some green in the top and yeah it's a lot of fun these are super easy to make i apologize it's a bit shaky my hands i think the medication they gave me for my back is really making me loopy let's pull that in so this is nice you can see how it's creating these different little lines and like a swag shape. So we'll keep going. Pick up three. I hope everybody's doing well. It's, uh, I feel like it's been a long winter after a long three years of COVID. And I know that things opened up considerably after, um, you know, in the last year. But for people like myself or elderly people with health problems, it didn't change that much because we still had to isolate. Like I had to, I knew that I was getting this other surgery after my breast surgery. Let me just make sure. The beads went there, there, okay. Okay, so that's the last one. So now what we're going to do 
We're going to pass through the next set of beads here. I'm actually going to go, go through one of the singles as well. And then we're going to go around and we're just going to go around in grabbing the threes. So right now I'm kind of getting all my beads lined up and tightening as I go. Okay, so now we're set to go. So now we're just going to run through the threes that we added. So like that. go through the three and this will tighten it a little bit more your thread might be showing in between not a big deal especially I mean you wouldn't see this thread next to the silver foil and I should say that when I did the unboxing of these uh, crystals I got some really great uh, recommendations on how to protect the foil on the back and um, I really appreciate that. I will definitely use that in my next project. Um, one of the suggestions is to um, coat the back with some type of protective uh, lacquer. I'm going to extend my thread here. Um, so I went back. I was getting ready to do like all of these and protect them. And I went back and I looked at them and actually it's it's painted on and like I tried to scratch it off with my nail and I couldn't. So I thought I'm just going to leave it. I'll have to check all of them because there were a few that did have some scratches in them. So I'm sure that's why people had made those suggestions because it was it was pretty clear that they were. A mess okay so just pull everything you can adjust the okay so let's see if we have it in the right spot so here you can see it's not in the spot that I want I don't want a bead going top to bottom I want it to fit in between and that's just because I have a position for the ear wire so however you're going to adjust your ear wire, then, you know, get those beads in the spot that you want. So you can see this is like flopped right over. Not a big deal. Just kind of, they roll the beads, of course, right? So just kind of roll the beads. And this is almost in the correct position. Let's just get it nicely oh it came out <laughs> no 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 bad it's very bad i'm gonna pull this tight that should help there and get that there and it's still i want this over A little bit of there that should do it okay and let's this is the tail Get that out of the way so now I am gonna yeah this needs to be a little tighter so I'm gonna go through a few more and then we'll tie it off or knot it to stop it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm using all the same thread for, um, to, uh, to put the, cl the ear wire on. So you want to add a knot so that it doesn't come loose for any reason. So I'm just trying to grab the thread bridge here and put my finger, go around twice, hold that down and pull this through. There, just make sure I'm in the, where I want everything. It's, it's a bit loose, I will tighten it.
Okay. So let's go through. Let me see which side. Okay. I'm going to follow the same path that I'm going. This needs to come over here. It's almost there. Yes. That is not moving where I need it to move. One. So we got to go to the top here. So just keep going through these guys. And I'm going to get this nice and tight. Go through these last three. And we're going to bring the thread slightly to the front and top. Like that. Okay. I'm going to put another knot here. I don't trust this getting loose. One, two. I think I'm using the zero, zero at 0 0.005 I would probably recommend doing the six I think that's why I'm getting a lot of like loosey-goosey stuff here so like this but of course this is this is your tail and if you just pull then it takes care of that there now it's nice and tight Okay, so we want to put our um, little bridge in between one of these little triangle shapes. Um, yeah, so let's, we got our knot in there. Let's go through this bead here. Like that just follow your right angle weave up that next one and go through let's just do one at a time here and again this is should be tighter there. like that Now, go through, you can see your right angle weave here, go through this bead here, like that. Now, we are going to pick up one elevado, then a three millimeter, then an eleven o, and then another three, three millimeter. So this three millimeter is going to be combined and it's going to attach and let's get a um, wire guardian. So let's get a Silver wire guardian. 
that. And because the we're going to go through a combined hole or come out, the thread's going to come out of this hole here, then we want these to be squeezed together. So I'm just going to take my flat nose pliers. You could probably do it with your fingers. Let me see. Yeah, you know what? That's better. That's all you need to bring it together. Okay, so now we have, I'll go through that again, 11 o, a 3 millimeter 11 o. So this is going to be on one side, and then this is going to be combined to the two. So then we're going to go through the wire guard on the one side. Bring it all the way down. Okay, like this. We're going to go over this part and down through the second hole of the wire guard and down through this three millimeter bead. And pull everything through. When you're coming through, make sure it sits on the groove. Yeah, so it didn't, it missed it on that one. Just grab your needle and coax it back in place like that. And then pull it down. Pull everything like that. So now we're going to add this section here. So we're going to add an 11 o, a 3 millimeter, and an 11 o like that and we're going to look so we have this right angle weave we went through this bead here so go to the next one and go through this bead and you're going to go through from this side there so it centers it then you're going to follow your right angle weave around so you're coming out of this one here you're going to go through this side one through the bottom one and actually you can go through the um, three millimeter as well you can go that way or you can go up and around and back down so but what you want to do is you want to make sure you go through it a few times your wire guard and these sections here <clears throat> so let's go up through the bottom of that one like that then go through the side one go through the top one make sure I got the right one here right here and it wants to go through the first bead of this arm not a big deal that in there then go through everything one more time it gets a little finicky here it's teeny tiny to work with but it's so worth it in the end okay go up through the wire guard after you've gone through all those beads and my thread's coming up like that. Let me pull this a little more. Okay. Now go down through the second hole of the wire guard and through that combined three millimeter. Everything. Make sure it gets on the, the groove there. That. Then go through this side. So I'll go through the 11 o, the three millimeter, the 11 o, and through your top bead of your right angle weave there, like that. Okay, so let's bring it to the back. We're going to tie it off, so, like that. Oh. <laughs> 
I knew my thread was going to come off this. I, I'm using these uh, John James needles and I really like them because they don't, um, they don't uh, bend, but the fact that they don't bend, they actually break when you, you know, try to maneuver them a little too much. But the other thing is the eyes are really nice and big, but then your thread comes out of it a lot. So there's always trade-offs, right? Let's get this guy. So I'm going to put a knot here and then we'll say goodbye to this thread and we'll weave the other. One, two, pull it down tight and I'm going to put my finger on it so the knot doesn't pop out and pull that tight and I'm going to go through the next two beads to hide that knot. I'm going to go up and down just to give it a little more thread hiding the thread that is so it comes through here like that. and through these two and that should be it and we'll tie off the front there like that there So I thought that maybe one of these, like one earring, would take um, 30 minutes. We're at 52 minutes right now. So, But, yeah, I have to know. I think if you were doing these a lot, you might get faster at it. It definitely takes longer to do it when you're instructing. But although... That's not a given because I was surprised at when I was working on this design. They were taking longer than expected. But they're so beautiful. Okay, so this thread, let's make sure we pull this one. That was the one that they, it was the first right angle weave and it was getting a bit loose. Okay, I'm going to go through to the next right angle weave here you could go through actually let's do that let's go through the front because if you see on this side you can see a bit of thread so we'll say we did that on purpose when we were kids and we did something like we fell or we, you know, messed up and somebody would go to tease us, we'd say, oh, I meant to do that. Didn't you know? <laughs> Even at a young age, we're trying to save face. Okay. This one should snug up nice. So I, I, I do want to point out that initially on my other earrings, I had two of the three millimeters on either side, but because this one, I was having a hard time getting it in position, I left it so that there's one at the top and the bottom and it still worked out. You can see this is nicely centered. So however you get there, you know, is, is fine by me. <laughs> Tell them Emma told you that's how it's done. I would never uh, suggest to say I know how it's supposed to be done. I am not a pro at this by any means. So let's just go through a few more and tie a knot. That. Get my knot in here. One and two, pull it right there, snug, and there. 
and then I'll hide my thread. Let me go through the trying to go through just the right angle weave to hide the thread at the back, but it's now I've got it so tight it won't move there. That should do it. This one. Oh. Go through this combined one. Down through here. And through these three till you're done. Ta -da. Like that. So let's put our ear wire on. So we'll just hook that like that. Oops. Like that. And Close this shut. And so don't do that. <laughs> the just be aware the um, wire guardian spins on that top bead. So you think you have it positioned correctly and then it flips on you. So just dangle it and see where it wants to sit naturally. And then add it to your ear wire. Like that. Just like that. So that turned out pretty good. Let's polish this off. A bit. I can see my fingerprints on it. There we go. So there we go. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Super easy to do. It just takes a bit of time. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.